What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time for another Q&A. Be sure to leave your questions down in the comment section below, and I will answer up to three of yours. Now, there are two things I want to say before I begin. One, um, be sure to join my Discord server. I will link it in the description below. We do all kinds of things. We toss around ideas for universes. We, um, we stream movies every once in a while, so that'll be interesting to do. Like, we can enter a chat room and watch movies together. So that's always really fun to do. Hopefully we can get more people. And you'll get news, early news, about universes and other stuff that's going on. And on the subject of universes, the second thing, uh, regarding Donkey Kong vs. Garnet. Don't quote me on this, but it may come this week. All the research is done, I just now finished the script earlier. All I have to do is record my lines and put all the stuff together. And we'll see how it goes, I just have to get back into the groove. But now on to the questions and answers. Brandon Gaming VA asks, how do I think an interaction between the most prominent fairy tale characters, Shrek and Natsu, would go? Hmm. Lots of dislikes. Let's go with that. Lots of dislikes. <laughs> Victor Concel asks, asks, what are some of the most wanked verses I know about? Um, Overwatch is pretty much pretty wanked. They're like, people say they're like a uh, large building and stuff through like very obscure sa scaling. Like some kid said, the Doomfist Gauntlet could level a skyscraper. Now everyone's like, oh, therefore, every character can level a skyscraper because they're all heroes and part of the same team. So they all must be as strong and as fast as each other. And it's like, that's how not scale. That's not how scaling works. No, the Sonic verse is also pretty bad because people will say anything, literally anything, to make it seem stronger than the Mario verse. Like, um, Alf Layla Walayla, the villain from. Sonic and the Secret Rings once threatened that he was going to recreate the universe of the Arabian Nights or whatever, um, which again was no th was just a threat, no evidence. Not only that, but Sonic was only able to defeat him as Dark Spine Sonic, something he can't use all the time. He can only do it with some of the World Rings and all that. So it makes literally no sense to count that. And again, it was just a threat. There were no multiple characters stating it, no prophecy surrounding it, no plot stating it like there is with something like Tekken. No. Instead, it's like Crash Bandicoot, where Uka Uka said he was going to inflict a thousand years of punishment on Crash, and the entire universe, just a threat, does not actually mean Uka Uka is universal. Same with Alfleda Walela and the Sonic verse. Black Darkness 679 asks, What do I think about Dragon Ball Fighter Z for now? It looks super duper fun! Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite can suck it. This is going to be a great fighting game. Dragon Ball Z Fighter, or Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Ugh, I can't even get the name right. Um, question number two. What is my favorite fighting game channel on YouTube? Um, I really like Arsenal Tai, uh, because he does these really hilarious Tekken trolling videos, and he does all this meme -y stuff. And he actually does it hilariously, and not annoyingly. And his videos are very well edited as well. They're just fun to watch. And I also like Core A. If you're looking for something more informative than funny, then Core A Gaming is definitely the one for you. He goes into all types of different fighting games, interviews top players, describes mechanics for casuals, and explains why some things work and some things don't, like buffs and nerfs for some characters, or why making the game easier is actually a bad idea and how it affects the skill gap, just all that interesting stuff. And question number three, are your questions good enough for me? Yeah, I guess. K-Man Carberry asks, hey, there he is. Anyways, he asks, which is better, Back to the Future or Rick and Morty? Eh, I'm not a huge fan of either. Back to the Future was kind of a bit too hyped up for me and when I actually watched it, I was pretty disappointed because it's basically just, haha, it's funny because his mom is hitting on him and his mom doesn't know that it's actually his son from the future. Ha 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 ha. It was just that for the entire movie, and it was kind of disappointing when it was hyped up to me as such a classic, and I didn't enjoy it very much. And Rick and Morty, I do agree it's a funny and well done cartoon, but they're just a bit too harsh about their own opinions. Um, as you know, I am a Christian, and Rick and Morty does make fun of it a lot, which is no big deal really, since a lot of shows make fun of a lot of different beliefs. They can believe whatever they want to. But with Rick and Morty, they do it a bit too harshly and a bit too much to the point where it becomes distracting and kind of annoying from the actual show itself. So they're just a bit too forward and opinionized and loud to the point where it becomes obnoxious. I mean, I usually don't get offended easily at all, but they just kind of, they push it a little bit too far in my opinion and it distracts from the show itself. 
so I'm not that into Rick and Morty either. Question number two, opinion on Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Question number three, favorite attack from Tekken. Uh -huh. One slick hero asks, who do I think is the fastest character in fiction? Uh, the Flash. Question number two, who do I think is the worst DC character? I don't know that many DC characters, so I'll have to get back to you on that. And question number three, what do I think is one of the most overrated shows? Ren and Stimpy. It's not funny. There's not much substance to it. It's only famous for the gross-out humor. I mean, the animation is nice in some areas, and Billy West's voice acting is good as Stimpy, but there's nothing of actual quality about the show itself. I mean, it looks fine, and it's famous for gross-out. That's it. So many people praise the show when there's nothing to talk about. DMUA asks, any plans for using a JoJo character in universes? Um, I'd actually have to watch it first. Um, I don't know where to start. I, I found something where I thought it was the beginning, but it turns out it wasn't, and I was just really confused, and, um, I don't know what the proper time, or chapter, or whatever. I don't know wh where's the start of the series, guys. Because I just clicked on a thing called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and it had nothing after the title, so I figured, that was it! That was the start! So, I clicked on it, and it was, like, in the middle or something. I don't know where to start, guys! I don't know where to start! Um, question number two. Have I played Dragon Ball Xenoverse or Xenoverse 2? Um, no, I have not played either. The only Dragon Ball fighting game I've played up to this point is Budokai Tenkaichi 3, and I'm... I am definitely going to pick up Dragon Ball Fighter Z when it comes out, but nope, never touched the Xenoverse game. And question number three. Kakarot? Kakarot? Okay, better not yell right now. People are home. Pineapple Guy Carmine asks, What is the most obscure character I've researched for universes? Definitely the cast of that 70s show, because the verse somehow had actual feats, despite being a generic teen sitcom set in the 70s. It had actual feats, so it was very fun watching the show again, and trying to figure out who could beat up who, and who did what, and it was just very odd, <laughs> but fun. Question number two, why have I and other versus debaters used Saitama even though he's basically just a walking no limits fallacy? Um, controversy. Pretty much just controversy. Like, back in the early days of fictional fights, I, I wasn't beyond that. I was like, yeah, let's make some people salty, let's make some people interested, and that's how we got, uh, Saitama versus Goku. It, it's purely controversy. That's, that's the only reason anyone ever uses Saitama. Trust me. Trust me. Question number three. Have I actually cosplayed as Kakashi before? No. But I totally could. I just need to find all the stuff. Crimson asks, which superpower would I have if I could choose a superpower? Um, I've answered this on lots before. Um, it's telekinesis, but it's the other two questions why I picked this comment. Question number two. Have I watched My Hero Academia? Yes, I've been watching it with a friend, um, on Rabbit, um, every now and then, and it's very entertaining, I like it a lot. I want All Might to be my dad, and I really like Frog Baby. She is the best. Frog Baby is the best. If any of you draw fan art of me in the future, Frog Baby must be in all of them. All of them. Question number three. Favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movie? Um, definitely the one that just came out, Spider-Man Homecoming. Ooh, that was so good. That was the most entertaining uh, spider or superhero movie I've been to in general. Um, obviously the best Spider-Man movie. Oh yeah, Marvel made the best Spider-Man movie. Who could have guessed? Um, but yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming was really good. They made Aunt May really hot. And the end credits scene was super duper hype. I won't spoil it. Um, but for those who don't know, Marvel movies are infamous for having after credit scene, uh, after credit scenes like either mid credits or um, after all the credits have finished, and Marvel, or uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Homecoming's after credit scene was one of the hypest things ever. It's so exciting, you gotta see it. It, it sets up the sequel for the next movie so perfectly. Like, you will not believe it. It's, it's, it's as good as the movie itself. Zack the Bad Person Tart asks, what do I think the strongest thing Jin Kazama can defeat is? Um, well, previously, um, I thought it was Sasuke. But thanks to all the recent information, uh, basically the stuff I included in the verse analysis for Tekken 7, with the speed upgrades and power upgrades and all that, I think you can take on some of the early DBZ characters, not the late or mid DBZ characters, like beginning of Fre like Frieza Saga around, not Android Saga or Boo Saga or anything in Super clearly, like even Dragon Ball Super Krillin solos the Tekken verse, there's no arguing there. But um, I mean... Uh, take on some early Dragon Ball Z guys, pretty much. 
That's that's the farthest they can go. Question number two, what is my least favorite song or what do I think is the worst song? Oh, there's so many bad ones today. Ugh, and lots of stuff from 21 Pilots maybe. Um, lots of popular pop songs that have no meaning and are just about parties and woo and stuff and nothing, nothing of value, nothing of meaning. So yeah, just anything that has no value because music, music is art. And those songs are not art. Question number three. Favorite animated anything? Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, just just the movie, the whole movie, Kung Fu Panda. I really like all the coordinated fight scenes. I like all the character designs. The animation's really good. Just Kung Fu Panda. Nope, there's, there's no contest. Just Kung Fu Panda. I love, 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 love Kung Fu Panda's animation. It's so good. Penguin Party 119 asks, what do I think of the Mario and Rabbids crossover? Um, uh, not so sure about it. I mean, I like the idea of... I like crossovers in general, even if they don't make sense, like Mario and Rabbids. So I like the concept of them having a crossover. But I'm not sure, sure about... Not so sure about the style of gameplay that they chose for the game. I don't think I'd be very interested. Um, question number two. What do I think of Sonic Mania? It's nice. Just sort of a nostalgia thing for the nostalgia fans and all that. It's nothing special, just another... Uh, 2D classic game. That's, that's pretty much it. Question number three. Who would win in a fight? Doom Guy or Duke Nukem? Um, I don't know much about either, so I'm just gonna make a random guess and you can tell me why I'm wrong in the comments. A uh, Doom Guy. <laughs> just a fellow n Just a fellow n just a fellow Nick Nick Thanks for stopping by on this Q&A. See you guys next time. Leopold the Brave out.